let's go over how to import images and templates in Toon Boom Harmony. So here I have our background image, which was created in Photoshop. And over here on our layers, you'll notice each section is in its own group. So it's important to put the layers that you want in their own groups. This is how Toon Boom Harmony recognizes how to separate your Photoshop file. To import this Photoshop file, we're going to go up to File, Import, and Images. Or you could select this button up here called Import Images. And then a window will pop up where we can import our image. So we're going to click Browse and navigate to where our Photoshop file is. Then we'll select it and click Open. And we also want to import it as a layer based on the file name. So we'll just leave that as is. And it'll also give us the option to convert it to a Toon Boom vector drawing or make it a Toon Boom bitmap drawing. We're just going to keep it as the original bitmap. And then for alignment, I'm going to select fit. And for alpha, I'm going to select straight so it keeps the same transparency. And I'll click OK. And a message will pop up saying some of the items you are importing contain multiple layers. Please indicate how you wish these items to be imported. So here I can import my file as a single layer my groups as layers, or as individual layers. My layers are in group, so I'm going to select group as layers, and for transparency, I'm going to select straight, and then click OK. So now we have our background imported, and all of my separate elements are on their own layers. You'll also notice if I zoom out, my background doesn't quite match my scene size, so I want to resize this, and the way I'm going to do that is by clicking the top layer, scrolling down to my bottom layer, holding shift, and selecting the bottom layer, so it selects all of my layers, and then I'm going to use this transform button over here. And this is my animate button. We'll go over this in more detail later, but since I'm not animating this scale up that I'm going to do, we click and hold the animate button and select animate all frames. And then I'm going to hold shift and drag from these corners so it keeps the same aspect ratio. If I don't hold shift, it looks like this. So I want to make sure to hold shift to keep the same aspect ratio and I'll resize it to match our scene. Then when I'm done resizing, I'll just click and hold and select Animate Current Frame again. And you'll also notice that our background only lasts for one frame. So we want to extend the exposure of all of these layers. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the last frame on my top layer, and then I'm going to scroll down, hold down Shift, and select the last frame on my bottom layer right here. And that'll select the last frame of all of my layers, and then I'm going to right-click and select Extend Exposure. Or I could press the hotkey of F5, which is what I usually use. So that'll extend our background for the entire length of our scene. If we want to change the length of our scene, we can either drag these red brackets here to change the length of our scene, or we can go up to Scene and Scene Length, and we can change it here. And if I want to group all these layers so they don't take up so much space in my timeline, I can do the same thing by shift selecting all the layers I want to group. So I'm not going to select my foreground element because I want that to be separate. I'm going to just select my background layers, and I'm going to right click and select Group Selection. And that'll put all of my layers into this group, which I can then minimize by clicking on this minus button here. And since I don't want to select any of these layers accidentally while I'm animating, I can lock them by clicking this lock button right here. For templates, we are going to use this window over here called the library. And if you don't see that, it's under Windows and Library. The library window is where we can save character rigs, single layers, or even whole animation scenes. So the way it works is over here on the left is where all of your folders will be. And then over on the right is where all your templates will be located. If a folder has a lock on it, like you see here, that means you cannot import anything into it. To open it, you can right click on it and say write to modify, and that will open the folder. So now you can right click inside this window and go to import files. So this is how you would import things into your library, like Swift files or other files. So I'm going to use our assets folder, which contains all of our example files. And then back in Toon Boom Harmony, we're going to right-click our folder section, go to Open Library, and we'll navigate to where our Assets folder is. So one very important thing to note about templates is these look like folders. In fact, you can actually navigate inside of these. But I want you to treat these like files. So if it has a .tpl at the end, I want you to treat these like a file and not a folder. So what that means is to import these, I want to select the folder that is above our .tpls. So if I were to select my .tpl, and you can see it right here, what folder it's going to import, and then select Select Folder, you'll see in our library window, it's opened our .tpl file as a folder. So this is actually useless to me. I can't import this or use this or bring in my character at all. So I'm going to close that by right-clicking it and saying Close Library. And I'm going to open it correctly by going Open Library again and navigating above my .tpl files. And you'll see the folder it's going to open here. So it's my Assets folder, so I'll click Select Folder to open it. And you'll now see our Assets folder here. And if we select it, 
you'll see all of our .tpl files have imported into our library here. So now I can take my template and drag them onto my timeline. And if I want to save something into this folder, I can select all of the layers that I want to copy and then drag those over into my assets folder. But you'll see it's actually not letting me do this and that's because our assets folder is locked. So I need to right click this and say right to modify. And now I can select all of my character rig, my animation scene or whatever I'm working on that I want to save and drag it into my folder. And now I can give it a name so you'll see it saved it as a .tpl file which I can use in another scene or re-import back into this scene to reuse it. You'll also see that it saved it in this folder right here. So if I don't want that anymore, I can right click on it and say delete or just press the delete key to get rid of it. And if I don't want this folder anymore, I can right click on it and say close library and it disappears. This does not delete the folder. If I go back, you'll see my folder still exists on my computer. So I can either delete this folder if I don't want it anymore or just keep it in case I need it for another time. And that's how to import files and use templates in Toon Boom Harmony.